Hello, I'm Lost Bladder. I do videos on the tube use. Today I'll be teaching you how to fix your battle eye, although I do not know how to fix this whole Windows problem, because I have to start the video over here in order to start it, so then you have to see this. Unless I do it in a, uh, unless I'm doing a video game playthrough, because then it doesn't record that. Uh, so anyway, Sometimes you'll be trying to join a server of DayZ, and uh, it'll you'll join for about two minutes and you'll get kicked because Battle Eye is out of date. Um, the problem is it doesn't update all the time by itself, and I'm not even sure if it can anymore. It never has for me. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to update it manually. In order to do this, uh, there's two ways to do it. The easiest way is to do it through Steam, which you still have to delete it manually out of your folder. I will show you how to get to that now. You'll go into computer, local disk, programs files, time 86, steam, steam apps, common, arma2 operation arrowhead, expansions, battle eye, and you will delete this, the beclient.dll. Once you've deleted that, you will go into your Steam if you bought the game through Steam. Go into Games, your Operation Arrowhead, Properties, Local Files, and you will verify your integrity of Game Cache or Cache, however you're supposed to say that. Once you do this, it will download any content that's missing from the file that should be there in the latest version. If this still doesn't work and uh, the client version that it downloads, is not the most up-to-date, you can always go on the BattleEye website and do it manually. Uh, you will do the same thing that you did before and delete this, the BE client, but instead of going on Steam, you'll just look up BattleEye. I will leave this link in the description. Go down to Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead and whatever version of Windows you have, the 32-bit or the 64-bit, or whatever computer you have rather, uh, you download that version and once you have that, you will replace, you will put it in this folder, replacing the beclient.dll. If neither of these work, you can always try searching the internet for a, um, there's plenty of forums about different problems with BattleEye. This is the most, um, this is the most common problem with BattleEye is that it's not up to date because it doesn't update manually anymore for most people. I'm pretty sure because GameSpy doesn't work anymore. I mean, it didn't do it before when GameSpy still was up. But uh, especially now, at least there's an excuse for it. So I hope this helped you with your battle eye problems. Um, please rate and subscribe or whatever. Uh, thank you for watching.